Ah, because I'm a glutton for punishment. Here it is from the Mirror UK. Ah, Deadly Bug has proven that women are the stronger sex. Ah, goodness. You know, again, to, to, if you want to know, like, um, propaganda, right? What you have to do is apply to a different race or apply to the next gender, right? That's how you know it's propaganda, right? And you'll always see this propaganda that's nasty and it's disgusting and it's usually one-sided. Again, you gotta know your enemies, right? Know who you cannot criticize and know who you can. The people you cannot criticize are usually your enemies, right? And sometimes they're they were unintentionally enemies, okay? That means the useful puppets of usually the the elites, the communists, the ruling party, whoever you want to call them, right? So we know um, society uh, panders to women because they tend to vote um, very much um, communist. You know, they tend to vote Marxist. This is why they get pandered to. So this is why you see articles like this from untalented people. So this is by Jane Simmons again. This 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 article could have been written very differently, and this is like um, um, the editor in chief. The 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 he should never have done this headline. Right and and like they can say two things. The headline is written that way for clicks, or they're really that insane. I think they're really that insane at this point, because they're, again, there's something called journalist ethics, and they're completely ignoring it. Okay. So this could have easily said men need help. You know, we need to help our men, but it didn't. It said something that's kind of like um, a slap in the face. Okay. So again, know your enemies. Know what they're pushing. No, the propaganda, okay? This is why I preach. Statistics show men are more likely to die from pandemic due to fundamental physical differences. Wait, wait. So there are differences? I, again, see, these people, they don't believe in any of the stuff they push only when it's convenient. Anyway, um, with twice as many men dying, the pandemic has proven the man flu is not just a myth. You know, like the pay gap, it's, it's not just a myth, you know? <laughs> uh, the hypervigilant and very aggressive immune system has a downside to it. It puts women at greater risk of autoimmune conditions such as multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and colic. Like, I don't wish this upon anybody. I would never want this on a, on a woman or a man. And this is like, I've seen people with arthritis. I could end up with the one day, you know, my if I have kids, I can't put this one day and still like disease, can't put the one day. I, I just, you know, again, it's like I would never celebrate stuff like this, you know. This is this, this is absolutely disgusting. This is what this article sounds like it's celebrating certain things that it should never be celebrated. I don't know, when the, f when the first figures emerged in China showed um, virus infection rates were almost the same. Initially, put down to 62% of uh, Chinese men smoke compared. Again, men have harder lives. Like we all know this deep down, and we most of the time we lie about, and we do it for okay. So we do it for a feeling aspect, because okay. So the truth is, when we see somebody weaker, we never put them down. And I compare it to in school, right? Usually, if you see somebody kind of like poor, you never say things to put them down. Okay, at least I didn't. You, know, you never say things about certain things that they may wear the same clothes every day. Their houses may not be nice. These are things you just don't do because you know they're, I'm going to say this, you know that they're kind of weaker than you, you know, because they don't have the same finances, okay? Obviously, late in life, that changes. But this is similar. This is why people kind of defend women a lot of times when they shouldn't be defended because we naturally know they're weaker, okay? All right? But unfortunately... Like some women, like women naturally know this, but I think at some point it said it's been said so much that they've they actually start to believe that they're smart and stronger until they get hit with a dose of reality. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. But the theory began to unravel where similar patterns emerge in Europe and America. Oh, are they calling the China liar? Hmm. Where more men smoke. Okay, all right. Professor Sarah Hawks, of course, is Sarah Hawks. Director of Center of Gender and Global Health. Oh gosh, why is there a Center of Gender and Global Health? But it's important to understand the difference between sex and gender. Sex is biological, 
while gender release is social. Ah, oh, this is what they're trying to push at. So she, so she tries to claim, well, such a thing as man or man and woman are, are different, but not really, because gender is a social construct. So she tries to do a double thing here. Although, okay, so technically, right? Technically, this is actually correct. Technically, right? Technically, but we all know it's not the way language is used. We all know it, okay? Anyway, gender differences in lifestyle, such as smoking, that alcohol consumption. What about bravery of men? You know, she leaves out all how men defend the nations, men do the hard work, men put themselves more at risk to provide comfort for women. She leaves those things out again. This is all propaganda, okay? But it's biological, particularly having two X chromosomes and show women really are the fittest when it comes to survival. Also, women tend to be safe at home when men like hunt the jungle, you know. Men clean the source system, men expose themselves to dangers. Now it's also um all the men genes, men risk take, you know. Women don't. Hence men make more money. Hence men conquer civilization. She goes in some things I I'm a little above my uh, pay grade. The Y crumbs only have seventy genes and things like that. It's a little above my pay grade to really uh, do with this stuff. But she says something quite interesting. Let's see, um, two bucks. At least uh, two different screwdrivers with two different hammers, two different size wrenches. On top of that, female cells work together side by side. So what she's saying, the X and Y don't work as efficiently as two X's. Oestrogen tends to be protective, except when it comes to the babies and uh, and uh, pro-choice, which is really pro-death. It's just uh, euphemisms used. Let's continue. Uh, two X's give females an advantage before they're even born. A miscarriage. Again, this also could be when well interpreting these things here. Sixty percent premature babies. I'm talking about how a boy suffer um, from premature cur um, cerebral palsy and cognitive damage. Um, I, I, I right here, right? A fight or flight hormone which primes the body for physical activity. I also think because women, again, girls tend to mature faster. It could be like a girl, even in the womb, has um, a more mature in the womb, you know? It could be something as simple as that. That's my thinking looking at this. But here's another um, dubious um, article of writing. This is a, uh, it's well written, like in terms of structure, but. It's poor logic behind it. The most obvious example of female survival su superiority is life expectancy. The Office of National Calculates, on average, a toddler will live to 79.3 years if they're a boy, but 82.9 years of a girl, okay? Similarly, a 65-year-old man can expect to live another 18.6 years, but a woman will live another 21 years. Technically, okay, so it's essentially rephrasing the exact same thing here. It's very odd. It's like she tries to make two points with one point. Again, look, men have harder lives. We all know this, but yet they receive less funding, less uh, medical attention, you know, less money into their uh, lives. You know, you think closing the life expectancy gap would be priority number one, but apparently not. Because apparently life, life is different. Life isn't as important as uh, pushing a uh, gender, feminism, right? Logically, life is the most important thing. But yet, isn't closing this gap that shouldn't be the, the number one priority in the world? Anyway, um, that's the end of this article. Um, top of risk and things. I'll leave it here. But uh, it's well worth the read. Um, if you want to know how propaganda works, this is full pure propaganda. Again, if it was labeled something um, more um, becoming to men, you would have said it's a neutral article, but this is a pro propaganda article by people who should never work in the um, industry. Again, I'll tell you what happened during, um, well, I want to say 2010 to 12, they began. Uh, this is the UK, unfortunately, so I don't know how it works there, but I know in the United States. The media was forced to hire minorities, which means women and blacks, over everybody else. And if they didn't, the, um, I want to say the Justice Department or the, um, damn, not the Justice Department. I forgot, the, the not the feds either. Uh, oh, gosh. Whichever one oversees um, TV, I forget the name of them, and entertainment. 
they uh, th- they would make lives of these corporations and small businesses difficult if they didn't abide because the, what the, the government wanted to see the books okay they wanted to know how much the only thing they care about the books how many minorities you are um, how many blacks you, sorry how many blacks you hired and how many females you hired okay if you don't meet a certain a number of criteria they would have made your lives a living hell okay this is 100% truth 100% fact alright take care share say subscribe thumbs up hope you took something interesting away bye